I am, I call myself a purgatory artist, first of all. Obviously, you can tell by using the word purgatory, shows that uh, I was born a Catholic. Um, but not necessarily in a religious, in, in a religious uh, meaning. I call myself a purgatory artist because uh, when you hear my name, Robert Wilkins, most people will assume that I am white. I, I don't like to say the most unfortunate thing is that due to my mom marrying an Anglo in El Paso after getting out of the projects, my uh, stepfather decided to adopt me and my mother decided to go ahead and spite my real father, who is actually uh, Antonio Dorantes. My real name is Roberto Dorantes Alonso. I am Hispanic. I'm Mexican. My family has been in the area of San Antonio, Texas since the beginning of the founding of Texas. Um, I have a long history here. We, we, we say that the river crossed us, the border crossed us. Uh, the thing about it is my grandfather, uh, great, great, great grandfather was actually one of the first ones to discover got stuck here in Galveston. His, uh, there's also another one that's called Alonso Cabeza de Baca. If you look at my business cards, it's Cowhead. I didn't realize why it was Cowhead, but that's really one of the reasons I realized later. Um, so, my artwork, my artwork, it, it, for me, it, it's kind of a giving me value. I came from the projects, went through a bunch of shit like all kids do through the projects. Came from the projects, uh, my artwork was the thing that made me worth something in the world. It was also the thing that kind of calmed, calmed the, the evil voices in my head. The, the, you're not worth anything. Um, and it helped me kind of decide or go through or analyze or contemplate how I felt. Uh, it allowed me to put my emotions instead of carrying them on a... On a on a daily, hourly, per second, I, I could put them on a, on a canvas and literally walk away for a little bit from them. So my artwork was basically also therapy. Um, the artwork that I paint today has to do with, right now that I'm painting right now, not past but right now has to do with more of time of my second life of of the intelligence that I've gained through my education which is cost me a dollar fifty which is called the library card um, wanting to understand why things work wanting to understand why things are how do we get here? Um, the concept of religion combined with society or science uh, is, is God in control of everything. And if he is, he's doing a shitty ass job. Uh, not that I'm an atheist, I, I still believe in God. Uh, but um, I, I have those issues, constantly thinking of those things. My artwork has to do with time. What's my purpose in life? What do I want to leave behind? What do I enjoy? Um, at, I'm 53 years old right now, and I'm living the best life I've ever lived. Uh, I like who I am as a person, and I like the skills that I've harnessed through over 30 years of exploratory uh, practice, discipline, laziness, stupidity, etc., etc. My artwork is not, it doesn't come from an educational background. Uh, some of the stuff that most people create, when they throw it, I can see they have no love to it. Um, one of the things that I do tell you about my artwork that it distinguishes, for me, it hurts me a lot to sell one of my pieces. It, it creates pain. Um, I, I like to put a lot of myself into it. I sometimes hide my artwork from people so they don't get to see it. For me to go and, and, and talk to you guys and send you this of my artwork, it's kind of scary. 
Uh, but I have to do it because I'm because I have to. I was a dad. And uh, I, I love what I do. I, I prefer to be left alone for the rest of my life and paint. Unfortunately, I can't do that. Um, I love waking up and having a brush in my hand. And there's two day, two ways I, I want to die. It was one painting and one heavy nookie. I almost died heavy nookie, actually, if you think about it. I'm going to be honest with that. <laughs> has a sense of humor some of my artwork is uh, is it politicized is some of the political stuff on it uh, some of the some of the stuff that I do uh, oh by the way my political shit gets me in more trouble you can imagine uh, I'm gonna send you a couple just to see so you understand I don't like to show that because it causes it financially it hurts me um, and when it starts affecting my artwork or the, the time when my materials to paint have to stop doing that so um but anyways my artwork is a voice it's a very simple voice it's my voice it's something that can make a difference uh in, in my community um and it can change people's way it it i put all my energies all my thoughts into it and uh i love every moment of it that's it i don't know what i don't know what you want to call it i call it purgatory art <laughs> so that's it. Define purgatory. It's not heaven and it ain't hell. I ain't white and I ain't Hispanic. Uh, the problem is that the concept of, of considering myself a purgatory artist, uh, I'll give you an example. Somebody wants me to paint a mural in their house and they're white and they, and they walk in and they go, uh, Who are you? Are you here to cut the grass? And they're not, I'm the artist. But you're Wilkins? I said, Yes, I am. Or the other side of the coin is they're, they're doing a Hispanic art show. I put my, I walk in, I say, I'm an artist, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we know you, blah, blah, blah. I sit down and then they start reading the list. Paco, Jimenez, Perez, Garcia, Wilkins. Who the hell is Wilkins? <laughs> and so I've, I've actually felt uh, prejudices from both parties. Because, uh, but anyways, when I sell a piece of artwork and they look at, my, they look at me and they look at my artwork, they're like, well, Wilkins? Is this really your work? I said, yes. Do I have to show you my ID? In some cases, I actually have to show my the people my ID. So, so yes. So that's why I call myself a purgatory artist. I'm in the middle. I'm not white and I'm not Hispanic. And I speak English are pretty good. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> I was born in El Paso. I'm a Texan. My family is, is from, actually from San Antonio. Uh, I have family on both sides, in Mexico and here. Uh, not that it makes a difference. Uh, I'm from here. Uh, I'm a Texan. Not that it means anything, but I'm a Texan. So, and Texas is another country, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> It suits you as a purgatory artist. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I would I would make it as just and as funny as, as possible and make it enjoyable. I would I would do that. <laughs>